What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, you've come to the right place. This whole Ukrainian thing feels pretty surreal, I ain't gonna lie. The fighting's only been going on for a few weeks, but honestly it feels like months past. Crazy man. People ask me if I'm scared of getting drafted for the war. Personally, I don't think it's gonna happen, but that being said, if there's gonna be a draft, well, I'm a working class individual doing low skilled work, I barely made it out of high school, and I am relatively young. Not only am I getting drafted, I'm probably at the top of that list. Like, I'll be watching the news, the news reporter man's gonna say, hey, and the first person to be drafted for the Russo-Ukrainian war is Slick Jackson. But you know, I ain't scared of no draft. In fact, I'm hankering to teach them former common boys how we freedom lovers roll. But I digress. A lot's been going on. The fat cats are getting up on their soapboxes to virtue signal, saying that they won't sell any of their products to Russia. You know, they're helping out with the war effort in Ukraine by, you know, not selling their video games, not selling, I don't know, whatever it is they, they sell, you know. We all know it's a bunch of bunk, all done for PR because, you know, that's just how these corporations are. And how about them gas prices, man? I can't drive myself to work now because old Sleepy Joe saw it fit to cancel that damn pipeline and buy all our gas from Russia. Thanks, asshole. Worst part is, he'll probably get re-elected anyways. But you know, I've been having fun watching it all play out on Twitter. Yeah, I know there's a war on, but you know, that don't mean I can't get a chuckle here and a chuckle there every now and then. Get a load of this. This tweet was made by Fur Affinity. That's some furry art sharing website again. Like I said, I don't really care about furries. I don't bother them. They don't bother me. Everyone gets along. You know, furries just... I, I, don't really like them. I'll, I'll, I'll be completely honest. Well, for affinity, they don't pledge their support to the Ukraine. Well, there's nothing objectively wrong with it, but I mean, come on. You can't take this stuff seriously. For God's sake, it looks like a cum stain. I've got to say it because no one else will. It looks like someone came on a wall and photoshopped the Ukrainian flag over it. I've got a message for the furry community. You guys really want to help out the Ukrainian cause? I think the best thing you could do is shut your mouth. Hey, no offense to the furry community, but no one really takes you guys seriously. Uh, that's kind of the weird thing with, uh, I think people call them fandoms, right? Most fandoms really aren't taken seriously, but they don't really want to be, right? They just want to enjoy their thing. I get it. I respect it. Oh, but furries, seems like they want to get in the thick of everything, I'm telling you. But I mean, come on, every time these guys come out in support of some political movement, you know, I don't know, I feel like they're just doing more harm than good, you know, you just can't take furry seriously. No, just go back to your little foxhole and go back to jiffing, or whatever it is you guys call it. Then there's this guy. Saw a Wojak meme of Ukraine and Russia, and I'm so sick of you apathetic privileged pieces of crap grow up. Buddy, it's the internet. We make jokes about everything. I don't know why that's getting under your skin. Most people aren't gonna lose sleep over an internet meme. But hey, if you want to get mad just for the sake of being mad, well, go for it, I guess. I can't really stop you. But really though, who are these jokes harming? What's the actual problem with them? Oh, Slick, the problem with them is that they're insensitive. To whom? Ukrainians? Well, I think they have bigger problems than someone posted a meme to Twitter, but clearly this person is the most qualified to speak on behalf of an entire country. You gotta love the reply that's just a screenshot of the original poster saying the old hard R in a Discord post. Really just goes to show, man, you really shouldn't listen to these moral grandstanding types. They preach about this, preach about that, but we all know that they can't hold themselves to the very standards that they set for themselves. Nothing wrong with that, we're all human after all, but just don't pretend that you're above all of us. You know, with all the cringe going on, I think this guy just kind of takes the cake. Nothing against the guy, but they made a piece of art that just made me just... It, it baffles me, you know? So this was made by someone who goes by the name of Sasha. They're a Twitter artist in Ukraine. They make, I suppose, lewd content. I suppose that's the right word. They put this out about a week or two ago. Uh, you got these two army guys, one Ukrainian, the other Russian. They're going at each other, and then they um make out. Yeah. Next panel says, Neither of us wanted this war except for him. So why don't we let him fight and sacrifice his family members instead? Now, I get what they're saying, right? Obviously they're saying, Hey Putin, how would you like it if your family had to die for your petty war? But honestly, the way this is worded, it's like they're calling for Putin's entire family to be, like, executed or something. So, I think it's pretty obvious to all of us, it's an anti-war comic. The message is, same as the Ukrainians, Russian folks don't want the war. Now, from what I've seen, Sasha is Ukrainian, and you know the tweet's deleted now, but at the time this was up, this person got a lot of hate for the strip. 
a lot of people were um, not too impressed with it. I wasn't able to get any quote retweets before the post was deleted, but a lot of people were shunning this person, saying that they're a horrible person and such and so. You know, I don't really think it's our place to judge how a Ukrainian can talk about a crisis happening in their own country, assuming that they're being truthful about the resonance, of course. That being said, this, um probably isn't the way I'd go about commentating on the situation. This is, um, like, what, what's this called? I think people call it Yowie. That's a funny word, like I'm stumming my toe or something. Yowie. It's like, this comic's supposed to be like making a call for peace. But frankly, it seems less like you're making a call for peace and more like you just want to jerk your gurk, if you know what I'm saying. Well, two birds with one stone, I suppose. You gotta admire that efficiency, I guess. I mean, really though, you'd think the situation would call for a bit more seriousness. Now is not the time to ship countries, right? This ain't, uh, what's that webcomic called? Italia, right? Look, man, all I'm saying is, you didn't need to draw him kissing. You could've just had him hugged, you know? Nothing wrong with two bros hugging, nothing weird with that. But you know, you just had to go that extra step and, well, this was the result. Overall, I just think it's a tone-deaf comic. Again, far be it from me to tell someone what they can and can't say about a situation unfolding in their own country, but I mean, yeah, this is just kind of insensitive. Yeah, I got a lot to say about this Ukraine situation, man, but I'm gonna leave it off there for today. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm hoping to get back into the ground, you know? No matter how long I'm gone, well, I always come back, man. That's how it is. I missed out on a lot of good stuff that I wish I could have talked about. A lot of stuff, but, you know, it's the internet. Something else will come up. There'll always be something else to milk. But in any case, that's all I've got for this stick. So, you guys do old Jack a favor and, uh, keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.